All right, so I am going to alienate myself from well more than half of you by telling you that I am not particularly a big fan of dogs. Um, and in America, people really take that seriously. Like, like a lot of like, wow, this guy sucks already. I get it. Um, <laughs> You know, there's actually a film term called pet the dog, like when you want to show visually that a character is a good guy. It's a film trope that's been around since like the 20s. You have him pet a dog and like, oh, the audience will be like, oh, well, he's awesome. Like, you know, so good. So I will not pet a dog and I do not enjoy dogs particularly much. And I know that a lot of people, <laughs> you can't even not like a dog and just not like a dog. Like every time I say like, oh, it comes up in conversation, I'm not a particularly fan, fan of dogs. People like their immediate responses is like, oh, it's always like, oh, did, did something happen to you as a child? Like it's like you know, something had to have like, you know, affected your psyche for this to be the case. Um, but I, I started to come to terms with that in the sense that I realize and I see people, how they treat dogs. And some people you'd be walking down the street and like the stranger's dog on the knees, petting it like, hey boy, like I love it. And like, I get that because I think that is how I feel about babies. Um, I <laughs> will never, and if I have the opportunity, pass up an opportunity to play with uh, you know, a content baby at all. Like I will stop everything, I will be late. I love babies so much. Um, as a uh, single black male though in America, access, my access to infants is very limited. Um, <laughs> like extremely so. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I come out, I mean, like, we're walking through the park, I can get on my knees, like, oh, your dog, like, oh, this guy's great. If I, like, hey, can I touch your baby? Like, ooh, no, so it's like, <laughs> not a thing that you can do. Um, so it's hard, and I have to wait till people in my family, like, have them or whatever, so it's just weird. So I thought of this idea, and I know it's not practical, but I'm gonna share it with you. Uh, so, and this is, I thought of this, I wanna pitch it, so it's like in the style of an ad. This is called the Super Great Baby Bouncing Business Bureau. Hey there, home shopper. Are you looking for a genuine human connection? Are you tired of having no outlet for your tenderness? Do you worry about constantly feeling jaded and remote? If so, have I got the solution for you. It's no secret that cooing to and coddling an infant is one of the most beautiful, tender, and unironic activities available to us in the whole wide world. Guaranteed to automatically make you feel more human. But for far too many people, access to infants on a day-to-day -day basis is a sad impossibility. Unless you've got a newborn in your family or you work in a daycare, it's practically impossible to cradle a baby with any kind of regularity. That is, until now. It's my great pleasure to introduce you, our lucky at-home viewer, to the all-new Super Great Baby Bouncing Business Bureau. We've answered your prayers by creating a national franchise of specifically designed facilities where, under watchful eye of supervision, you get to buy half-hour blocks of oh-so-precious baby holding time. You can feel warm and human, while at the same time, lonely and disadvantaged babies get held. This is a win-win-win situation. You, the TOTS, and the SGBBB come out on top. Call the number on your screen for locations and pricing. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> if only. Thank you. <laughs> we can hope. We can hope.